It's the man himself. Can oh, I just say, it's way. great to meet you. No worries. Would I be able to get a photo with you? Yeah, yeah of course, man. Of course. Gone. Yeah. Oh my gosh, fantastic. So what are you doing? Um, we're fantastic. We've just been asking questions about the Conservative Party to your members, and they've oh, been, good. can I just say, really nice, civil people. Oh, hi. You know, no, 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 I, I, like I like that they've yep. been behaving themselves here. So, from you yourself. What would make me personally want to vote Conservative? Are you a student? I am a student, yeah. So I think for students, a couple of things. First of all is we think education at the university level needs to be affordable. At okay. the moment it's not, right? Because yep. you've got the course fees, you've got the loans on top of that. Um, I think we need to relook at the way we do tertiary education. Okay. So I, I think that for students that would be one of the things. I think broader... What's your stance on student loans and um, the interest on student loans? Hi, no worries. How are you, man? Good to see you. I get that. It's fair, but... Yeah. Um, so, look, student loans, I think we've got a problem when you've got a government borrowing yep. and you've got students borrowing and universities borrowing for buildings. Everyone's okay. getting more indebted. So yep. I think we have to change the system. One of the problems we've got is we changed what universities were about. Okay. At one stage, they were about a small number of people, sort of your higher academic achievers, okay. going there and getting an education. Yep. We could Would you say that we now could it's fund just about free. anyone going now, Nowadays it pretty much is. I mean, you know, it's almost become just another educational step for people. Okay. And which is why our country has the smallest difference in pay between a tertiary graduate and a non-tertiary graduate. Yeah. Because it started to mean very little. Okay. It, it means 18% actually. Okay. And, and we're the worst off from the OECD for difference. Yeah. So I think we've got to ask some big questions about sorry, education. Yeah. So that would be one area which, you know, the funding and the costs. And the Absolutely. Yeah. Secondly, I think it does come down to what you see New Zealand being society we want it to go. Okay. Um, if you think that big business and all that should have total say, then I think yep. we're probably going to vote nationally, right? Okay. Now, if you think we should live in a state where you know, everyone's success is shared around, probably you're going to vote for me. Hang on, that sounds like socialism. Are you against it's socialism? A, I, I, you know, I am against socialism. Um, when it, all it does is say we're just going to create a legal playing field. Okay, so would you case. say, are you a fan of Android? Can I ask that question? Are no, you a fan I'm, of no not particularly. Okay. I, I like, you know, said Have something. Have you read Atlas Shrugged? No. No. I've probably read quotes. You've read quotes. But, but not the whole thing. Okay, so. no, yep. I've read Atlas Shrugged. Well, it was you? an interesting book. Okay. What I do want to say, though, is um, would you say the Conservative Party is as far as her values? No. Because she's all pro business and no government looking after Yeah, people. no, I don't. I, I think there's a problem with that approach. And, okay. And the, the problem with that approach is that. You can't really run a society where you don't have government that takes some responsibility Absolutely. for something. Yep. We all know there's things called public goods. Yep. Defence. Well, Defence is not going to happen privately. You're going to have yeah, the government on yep. Health, education. These yep. things work very well when you've got a government involved yep. at that level, helping make the citizens. Awesome. So look, I, I, I think it's about finding that nice balance between the yep. two, and that's where I, as I say, People want a total sort of market philosophy, they'll vote national. Yep. If, if they're very much a socialist, let's level it all out, they can okay. vote late. But if they want something in between, that's where we sit. Okay. So we would say there's a general... So you wouldn't say that you're far right? No. No? no? Not at all. And I think okay. we look at our policies. So, for example, we would give a tax cut at the bottom end of the scale. Very okay. different from national who gave yes. a tax cut at the top yep. end of the scale. It right? is quite interesting, yeah. Um, but we do that rather than do an incre a mandated increase to wages. Because if you okay. increase, erase the minimum wage, yep. then people will lose jobs. Yep. We don't think that's a good idea. Okay. But give people a tax cut and they take home more money. You've yep. actually achieved the same thing that you haven't raised. So can I just ask you, because we've got limited time, and of course you're going to want to yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, I've got to go. Uh, this is my friend Maui. Um, we're just Maui interested. Maui. Yep. He is, his family are from the Te Tai Tokoro electorate. Yep. We're just interested. Is the Conservative Party going to be standing there because they're against Maori seats? We think Maori seats need to be reconsidered by the, by the electorate in a okay. referendum. And the, and the reason for that is, see, I don't consider myself to be 
different okay. or somehow estranged yep. from the Maori people in this country. Okay. Well, I actually have the view that we need to be all working together. Yep. Well, I, I think this idea that there's two nations inside a nation, or three nations, or four nations, depending on how you split, is wrong. Okay. And I think that it's actually about building bridges and working yep. together. Now, you know, if you go back to the Treaty of Waitangi, yep. it, it basically was about one government, people coming together, where we all have equal rights and responsibility. Yep. And actually brilliant foundation for a nation. So okay. that's why we hold that position. Yep. Um, the Royal Are you pro-treaty settlements? Mm -hmm. Uh, I think there are some things that do need to be settled. Okay, yes. But do I believe that the 2000 claims that are all in there at the moment hold water? Okay, fair enough. Yeah, and so I if I get one more be. question. Okay. One thing that we've talked to your members about is oh, yeah. their stance on marriage equality. So, although you don't identify your party as being pro Christian or Christian founded party, um, they've said pro family party, pro creation party, would you say that a large part of your demographic is Christian and that? you have to appeal to those voters who are against gay marriage. Oh, I think part of it, a large part of our demographic is what I would call social conservatives. Okay. And you will find, you know, whether, whether you made that Christian, Buddhist, um, whatever else, you'll find yep. people who hold, tend to hold socially conservative things, often okay. do have a religious affiliation. Yep. Nothing wrong with that. No, um, absolutely not. Yep. So, so in my view, yeah, socially conservative people do, do like us as yep. a party because we are prepared to talk on those issues. And finally, one more comment, because I know you are very busy, and we're so grateful for your oh, time. No worries. It's just the issue, issue about, um, it's been said that the Conservative Party doesn't necessarily tap into young people, not necessarily for your views on education, which I think is actually quite well founded, but because a lot of young people stand for more open liberal uh, values, such as the fact that um, gay people deserve to be recognised under the eyes of marriage to proclaim their love. Would you say that you're sort of losing younger voters because of your stance on that? Interestingly, I would say no, we're not. Okay. But I, I think there are people who have that sort of liberal view yep. are well catered for by other parties. Okay. What we do is we... So you don't want to appeal party. to everyone? No, I don't think any party appeals to everybody. Nobody okay. even gets 50% of the vote. So no, I think okay. this idea that you appeal to everyone is just wrong. Yep. We represent... AC so you'd be willing to say that a particular margin or a particular group of New Zealanders aren't of any interest to you? I think what I'm saying is I don't think we're going to win the vote, realistically, because okay. there are already other people seeking their vote and representing them very strongly. Yep. So I think we have to understand politics is about finding a group that you represent, okay. not about a, a sort of appealing to every single person on every single issue. I think yep. that's plastic. I think that's see-through. Yep. People realise that, that that's false. There are divisions with you know differences of opinion within yep. our society. And they want to vote for a party that represents them. Fair so, enough. for young people, we know that there is a core group of conservatives, yep. around about 15%, yep. according to Would our Would you party. say you're Margaret Thatcher conservatives? Um, no, but I actually like some of the things she did. I okay. think she, what she did do was require financial accountability. Okay. And I oh, think that is missing. Correlation. And we've got to do that. Okay, no. Well, thank you so much, can I Absolute say? Absolutely. Um,